text, is uh, Peter there. Peter, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. What's your second name, Peter? Uh, Cofola. Peter Cofola. Peter, you say uh, that, ch that chess is better for the mind than crosswords or Scrabble. Well, yeah, for anybody that likes those kinds of challenging things for the mind, I mean, yeah. chess is the ultimate challenge. Why? Well, after 40 moves, there's more possible positions in chess than the amount of words ever spoken by the human race. So that'll give you some idea of the complexity. After 40 moves? Yeah, the amount of possible positions you could reach is greater than the amount of words ever spoken by the entire human race. Okay, so explain that another way. Could, if you were to look uh, down at a chessboard after 40 moves... Yeah, from, from the, the amount of positions you could construct them on the exactly. board. Exactly. The configuration after 40 moves on, the, on uh, any given chessboard yeah. is infinite. It, more or less. It's one of the biggest numbers that's ever been okay. computed. So by the time 40, one move, one move, it becomes, it grows and grows the squid and it goes... Yeah, well, there's point. just so many possibilities. Yes, okay, the number of possibilities. Now, so, so anybody who likes crosswords or Sudoku or Scrabble hmm. or any other mind game... They'd love chess if they just got to know it. I mean, some people think it's this fuddy-duddy thing, yeah. but it's not. You know, I used to coach in Australia, and over there it was part of the school curriculum in a lot of schools. And I, I was a full-time chess coach teaching in schools. And, you know, it just benefited kids enormously. They improved in every subject if they learned chess. The, uh, the absenteeism improved. Their attention in class improved. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and a lot of kids who mightn't have been popular because they didn't play sports or things, they found an identity through chess. But the problem with chess, and, uh, uh, compared to crosswords, is that you can carry a crossword with you and sit in the car in a traffic jam or in a you hospital. You can play chess blindfold. You can play in your head without a board. But you can't play. Can you play against yourself? Yeah. Well, you can do chess problems. There's, there's a chess problem on the same page as the crosshair. That's right. Yeah. A guy called J.J. Walsh has been doing it for a donkey's years. So chess is gym for the mind. Well, it's, it's been described as the gymnasium of the mind. Okay, stay there, Peter, because I have a challenger, John Ryan. John, good afternoon. Hi, Joe. Thanks very much for taking the call. You're in, you're in Wexford, but you're a Scrabble fanatic. That's right, Jess. I'm a Scrabble absolute nutter. <laughs> and do you, do you do crosswords or play chess? I do. I play chess. I play uh, Scrabble. I play Sudoku's. I do crosswords. I do anything, really. But for me, Scrabble has to be the ultimate. Um, I, I don't know about the other caller there he's and talking what's, about. What's best for the brain? Oh, I think Scrabble is absolutely brilliant because you've got your words, you've got your, you've got your county, you've got the tactics. And Scrabble is just for everybody from any age, you know, young and old. There's, you know, the Scrabble's played in over 120 countries in the world in over 30 languages. It's absolutely fantastic. And how long have you been playing Scrabble? I've been playing Scrabble now for over 20 years. And how often do you play Scrabble? I play Scrabble two or three times a week. And there's a couple of different clubs in Wexford and I, I play as much as I can. I absolutely and love where, it. And where do you play? Um, well, we have a couple of different clubs. Um, the, my favourite one is actually the one in Wexford Town. We actually meet in a local bar called the Gaelic Bar. And we have mm -hmm. a couple of pints and we have a game of Scrabble and it's a fantastic night. And many people on, on each board, so to speak? Um, there would just be two people on a board. Two, so okay. it's, and we actually, we actually play with a chess clock. Sometimes, you know, if we yeah, want to yeah, yeah, want a yeah. formal, you know, stressful game. But most of the time we just play a friendly game. Well, will you try and convince Peter Cofola there? Oh, well, I, why, I play Scrabble as well. The idea. <laughs> <laughs> But you think, Peter, you think chess is more, better, sorry, is better for the mind? Well, Scrabble is a great game, but it's nowhere near as challenging as chess. Why? There just isn't the complexity. And, okay, to be good at Scrabble, you need a good knowledge of words, and a lot of it is just a matter of memorizing all the legal words. So, like, I know a fellow who memorized every legal two- and three-letter Scrabble word. Like quo and qua, and, yeah. which are fantastic. And and fine scores, scores, yeah. You know, things like that. But in chess, it's you know, ch chess is like it's like a war, but instead of violence, it's, mm -hmm. it's just your mind. You know, it's like it's like commanding a whole army in a battlefield. Of course, yeah. And, and you, you know, I was watching a chess tournament lately online, and it was, that tournament in the space of six or seven days got ten million hits. You know, and even last night I was mm. playing chess with a guy in Brazil, another in Russia, another in Paraguay. You know, all online, and um, you can follow tournaments live online. There's actually more books written about chess than any other game or hobby. Wow. So it's, it's, a, you know, it's not huge in this country, but in some yeah. countries, like Iceland, is the national sport. Oh, is it? Yeah. But look what happened then.
Yeah, I know. <laughs> but if they stuck to the chess and left the commerce alone. Yeah, if those bankers in Iceland, if they had been playing chess instead of uh, running a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Uh, but the, but the even whole... here, too, you know the way they're saying mathematics is no longer popular in school yeah. as a way of teaching problem solving. But if they introduce chess to the schools, it's... You know, it's relatively inexpensive. All you need is a chessboard. It costs That's a couple right. of euros. Yeah, yeah. And it really does teach children you know, problem-solving skills and, to, you know, and concentration. And it's great fun. It's not the, the fuddies or the thing that people think. And it doesn't That's take sad. hours. Sometimes we play games. You've only two minutes each on the clock to make all your moves. And what's it, you can, a game, a chess can be over in five minutes, ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, well, some of the tournament games can last seven hours, oh, eight course, hours. Yeah. But, but you can play a game that last two, three minutes. Yeah. I once played for three days without sleep. How did you do that? Uh, a friend of mine I hadn't seen for years, and we caught up. We played something like 400 games. And who, who won overall? Oh, I won, by, but not by many. <laughs> Um, so did, we literally so didn't sleep for nearly three days. Well, the All Ireland Scrabble champion is on the line now. Five one double five one text. Kevin, good afternoon. Hello. Kevin McMahon, you live in Dublin, is that right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. And when did you become All Ireland Scrabble champion? Well, I've won it for the last three years now, and I'll be defending my title for the fourth time the weekend after this one. Congratulations. That's Thank fantastic. you. And what age are you, Kevin? I'm 24. And were you a student, or what do you do? I'm a student, yeah. Okay. And are you a, a student of languages? No, physics. Physics, okay. And when did you become interested in Scrabble, Kevin? Uh, well, when I was about 12, I started watching Countdown and got addicted and all followed from there. And how often would you play? Uh, well, I'd play nearly every day on the computer and every few weeks I'd go down to a, a club and, and then play tournaments. Every often as well. And are there many scra Scrabble clubs in Ireland, Kevin? Uh, not a huge number, no. But uh, hopefully it'll get more popular with all the publicity at the moment. Okay, so you have a great way with awards. And you went to the, you represented Ireland at the World Scrabble Championships. Uh, yes, in Malaysia last November. And how did you do? Well, there were 108 players. I finished 65th, which wasn't too bad.